Hey guys, another right dev here. Welcome back to another video. Today's video, I have a special guest with me, Mr. Dummy. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add health bars to NPCs. As you can see, so it says health 100 out of 100. If I damage him a bit, you can see that um, it goes down. And at the end, I also showed you how to add a cool script that um, automatically heals the dummy for you, as you can see. Because before the dummy will stay at the same health forever, but now he heals at one health a second. And a cool feature to this is you can actually change the max health of the NPC like that and play it again. And you'll see that the health bar will also update to the max health. So this works with any health. So if you guys are excited and this helps you, then leave a like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. And also. Uh, if you want to help Mr. Dummy get to a million health. So, I'll uh, see you guys in the video. Alright guys, I am in my base plate here. And the first thing you can do is go ahead and go to the plugins tab. And everyone automatically has a plugin called Rig Builder. So go ahead and find it. Click on it. And then insert a block rig right here. So you can see we have a little dummy right here. And we can just go ahead and add in a billboard GUI to him. Like that. In this billboard GUI, we can go ahead and add in a frame. Uh, so you can see we have our little frame here, but it's not where we want it to be. Like you don't want the health bar to be like this. Uh, and so what we can go ahead and do is select the billboard GUI in properties here. You can go to studs offset and set the studs offset so to be 0, 4.5, 0. Uh, so you can see now so it's, it's better, it's above his head. And you can also say max view max view distance to be like uh, 50 or so. If you don't want it to be infinite or else um, your screen will be clogged with enemy health bars or health bars and that's, you don't want that. So just make it so you can only see it like 50 or 25 studs away. And in the frame here, uh, uh, by the way, I can also rename this to help GUI, like that. Alright, and in the frame, I'll rename it to back, background, like that. So I'll set the size of it to 1, 0, 1, 0, like that. Oops, I messed up. 1, 0, 1, 0 for the background size. And you can see it's taking up the entire frame now. And I can also go ahead and set the background color of it to be red, like that. Um, uh, red. Let's get yeah, that red to be good. So then I can just duplicate this background, put it inside here, and I'll rename it to, um, I'll just rename it to bar, or the green health bar. And this background color will be set to green, uh, like this green, I guess. There you go, so now it's overlaying the red one. And inside of this background here, we can go ahead and add in a text label. I can see it's right here. Um, and what we can do is we can set the text of it to help, and then colon, and we'll set the scaled, and we'll set the size of it, the size of the frame, to 0 0.6, 0, 1, 0, like that. Uh, so it's taking out most of the frame, but not all of it. And we can set the background transparency to 1. Um, I also add in a space after the colon to make it look nicer. And I'll also go ahead and set the font to God Pan Black. Uh, if I can find it right there. So it's bold. And uh, I can just go ahead and rename this to Health Text. Like that, because it just says help, and that's it. And then I can duplicate it and set the size of this one to zero point. I'll, just I'll set the size of it to zero point four comma zero comma one comma zero like that. And you can see it's all messed up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the position, set the position of it to point six comma zero comma one comma zero like that. Oops, I messed up. Um, as I was saying, we'll set the position of it to um, point four or no point six comma zero comma zero comma zero. Not one. There's no ones in this. All right, there we go. And then we can just set the text of it 
just as an example, do 50 out of 100, because this will show how much health there is. Uh, so that's just an example. You don't need to write that. Also, guys, I forgot to mention this in the video. So where you see how there's a health bar right here um, that comes with um, every NPC in Roblox and player. You don't want this if you want to have a custom health bar. So what you can do is go to the dummies humanoid and you can set the health display um, type to always off. So that way that's not there. And you only have your custom made health bar the entire time. So make sure you do that and I forgot to mention that. So let's get right back to the video. Alright, so now that we have our little health bar here, what we can go ahead and do is in the bar, we can go ahead and add in a script um, to the bar frame. So we can create our first variable. So we're going to say local humanoid will be equal to script.parent.parent.parent.parent. Pull and wait for child. And we'll do humanoid. That's a lot of parents. Um, then what we can do is local help num help num will be equal to script script .parent .parent help num so we also create a pair okay I need to rename this to help num I forgot to do that help num like that because that's the number make sure to rename that sorry I forgot to say that so local help num equals script .parent .parent help num there we go so now that we have our variables down we can go ahead and create a function we're going to do humanoid dot health change. And then we'll do colon connect and then function and damage. Damage like that. So now that we have our function, we can just go ahead and press enter. Um and we can say script dot parent dot sign will be equal to udem2. Oops, not unpack udem2. Um, dot new, and we'll do damage, uh, and then out of, um, humanoid, dot max help, like that, and then we can do comma, zero, comma, one, comma, zero, so then down here, we can go ahead and create another function, so we'll do local function, local function, um, we'll do number this time, number, and you can go ahead and press enter again. It'll do health num um, dot text will be equal to humanoid dot health and then dot dot and then quotation marks and I'll add in a slash another dot dot and it'll do human humanoid um, dot max health like that. And then down here, we can just go ahead and call the number function. And you can also do humanoid dot help. So we're going to call the number function right here when the game starts. And we're also going to call it whenever their health is changed. I'll do humanoid dot health change. And then we'll do colon connect. And we'll do a number right here. There we go. Um, just like that. So now that we have our script here, if we go ahead, I'll just go ahead and insert this sword into the starter pack like that. And there we go. So now if I play it, so you can see that I corrected to 100 out of 100 because before it was at 50 out of 100. So I can go ahead and take out my sword right here. And if I just, just like stand near him, you can see he's taking damage. And you can see the health bar is updating. And also whenever he heals, He'll update too, so I'll just go ahead and add in the script to make him heal. You don't need to do this, um, but I'm just doing it, you know, just because. So in the humanoid, I added the script, and I'll do wow, wait, one, undo. I'll do script.parent.help. It'll be equal to script.parent.health, help plus one. That way he heals one health every second, just to show you guys. So now if I take out my sword again, my yoink him a little bit, you can see that he also updates whenever he was healing. You can see it going up. And you saw it, of course, update when it goes down. Also, guys, another cool feature is if you, like, up the, the humanoid max health to, like, 
500 or so, so max health go to 500. Um, and if you play it, you'll see that um, his max health is actually set to 100 and it'll start healing all the way up to 100. So it will work with any help. And so it's really cool. And if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to help Mr. Dummy here to get to a million health, and be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, it really helps me and Mr. Dummy and grow my channel. So thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.